a marriage certificate issued by R S Samaj is illegal, declared by the Supreme Court of India. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Priya Sipaha and in this video we are going to discuss the validity of the marriage certificate. A case when the court was hearing the bail plea of the accused of abduction and rape of a minor girl from Madhya Pradesh. The matter is being told of love marriage. During the hearing, the bench refused to accept the marriage certificate of R.A. Samaj as valid and dismissed the petition of the accused. The R.A. Samaj is a Hindu reformist organization and was founded by Swami Dayanand Shastri in 1875. In this matter, the vacation ban justice Ajay Rastogi and B.V. Nagratna rejected the argument of the counsel for the accused and said that it is not the work of R.A. Samaj to issue the marriage certificate. This is the job of the officer. Show the original certificate. MP High Court has given the instruction to conduct marriage under Special Marriage Act on April 4. The Supreme Court had agreed to hear the petition challenging the order of MP High Court. In fact, on December 17, 2021, the MP High Court has directed the Madhya Bharat R. Pratinidhi Sabha of R. Samaj Sangatan to follow the provisions of the Special Marriage Act 1954 while performing marriages. Now the question arises, when the marriage under R. Samaj is valid and legal, why the marriage certificate issued by the R. Samaj is illegal? The Supreme Court clarifies the validity of marriage certificate issued by R.S. Samaj or issued by a Special Marriage Act. Let's discuss the steps of procedure of register a marriage certificate in India. A marriage certificate is a document that declares two people married legally. Marriage in India are to be registered under the Hindu Marriage Act 1955 or the Special Marriage Act 1954. The Supreme Court of India in year 2006 made it mandatory in India to get a marriage registered to legalize it. A marriage can be registered in two ways, first is online and second is offline. The applicant can fill the form online on the official website and can submit it. Once the form is submitted, the marriage registrar will summon the applicant for a particular date and time. It is compulsory to present at the office of the marriage registrar on time with all the document that has been mentioned. Also, two witnesses from each side should be presented at the time of the marriage at the marriage registrar office. The important point is that the date and time of the marriage given by the marriage registrar of the marriage under the Hindu Marriage Act 1955 is approximately 15 to 30 days. Whereas under Special Marriage Act 1954, it is approximately 60 days. I have already made two videos separately of Hindu Marriage Act 1955 and the Special Marriage Act 1954. You may see that video for a detailed instructions. The major difference between the two is under Hindu Marriage Act, the parties may apply for registration of the marriage if they are eligible only if they are either Hindu, Sikh, Jain or Buddhist. Also, if the marriage is already solemnized, the couple can apply for registration. Whereas, in Special Marriage Act, irrespective of their religion, all the citizens of India can get their marriage registered under the Special Marriage Act 1954. So, the important point is, any certificate issued by the court is considered as a legal and valid certificate of marriage no matter and it is under hindu marriage act or under special marriage act other than other this any marriage certificate issued by any other institution cannot be considered as a legal certificate so that's all for today i hope you like the video and if you like it do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel thank you for watching see you soon take care bye bye